So to start with this project, first we need to install a third-party library named PyWatKit. So install that, just open up your Anaconda prompt. If you are using uh, Visual Studio Code or PyCharm, just open up your terminal and type pip install PyWatKit. Okay. Make sure the spellings are correct and run it. Okay, it's already installed on my environment. That's why it's saying requirements already satisfied. Uh, yeah, make sure to install this library and just open up your uh, code ID. Okay, so and then import that package by import pyward kit. Okay, pyward kit as kit. So I'm just uh, naming this as kit is because we don't want to uh, call this whole big name again. again. Okay, so just we can use kit instead of pyward kit. Okay. So now I'm saying kit dot. Let's see what are the function it has. So if you look at the functions here, you can see it has a function for send WhatsApp message, send WhatsApp message instantly, send WhatsApp message to groups, send WhatsApp message to group instantly, send WhatsApp image. Even you can send image in WhatsApp okay, using this library. So let's go with uh, send WhatsApp message instantly. Okay, let's send message instantly and see what are the argument it has. So it has an argument for phone number. It basically means receiver phone number, the one who received the message. And the second and the second argument is message. So let's create a variable for this. Receiver phone number, receiver number. And it's need to be in string. Okay, so if you look at the function here, you can see it says string. Okay, it's need to be in string. And so in here you want to pro first you want to provide your country code okay so i'm provide my country code and the phone number uh, and the receiver phone number okay uh, just provide the phone number and the second argument is message okay so i just type a uh, happy birthday happy birthday okay happy birthday okay so i'm just passing those two arguments inside the function receiver number and message okay so now i just run this function so here you can see just open up whatsapp messenger on your browser and enter the message in this field okay but at this point sometimes we are going to face a problem which is the message is written in the input field and it's not send the message okay it's not send, send the message just write the message in there okay it send the message now but in some times it doesn't send okay just uh, type this message here and it doesn't send so to resolve this problem what you want to do is you want to use another third party package so named pi pi auto GUI, okay so to install that uh, just open up your anaconda prompt or visual studio code terminal and type pip install by auto gui okay so make sure the spellings are correct so so what it will do is just type here so type and doesn't send okay so it will be like this so in this case what we want to do is we want to press enter if you just press enter it will send okay so here you can see so that's why we are using pi auto GUI. using pi auto GUI, we can control our keyboard mouse and etc okay so it's a super useful python package so i'm just import that library by import by other gui so and also i will import another uh, module named time okay it's, it's an inbuilt python module so you want to install you don't want to install any packages third party packages okay so import time so now uh, we don't want to press press enter immediately okay just we want to wait for a couple of seconds and then we want to press enter okay then only it will work properly sometimes it doesn't work if we don't uh, wait for a moment so here you can see so to wait time has a function named sleep time dot sleep okay what it will do it just wait okay so for example if i say 0 0.5 seconds what it will do is just wait for 0 0.5 second okay don't uh, run this line okay it just wait for 0 0.5 second then only it will uh, run this line okay so 
now we, we are in here we just wait for 0 0.5 second and then we want to press enter okay so to press enter uh Pyoto GUI we, we have we want to use a library named Pyoto GUI so if you look at the functions uh, it has a function name press okay so press so here you can see press so if you see the doc doc string you can see perform keyboard key press down followed by a release okay so if you look at the arguments here you can see keys so what key we want to press and how many times you want to press okay so in this case we want to press enter okay so i just say enter okay we want to press enter how many times we want to press just one time okay so that's already exists okay so we, we don't want to change that so now i'm run it again so here you can see just open up the code a whatsapp browser and yeah here you can see it will send okay it doesn't send okay so here you can see this is the problem okay so it means it basically didn't send because this window is not active okay so to activate this window first we want to click here okay so we we want to press, click on this window and then we want to press enter so here you can see now it's working so to resolve this problem what you want to do you want to click on the window okay so to click on the window what you want to do it also have a solution that's Pyotogi Pyotogi can control mouse as well so you can see Pyotogi dot click so here you can see click uh, where we want to click okay so perform pressing a mouse button down and then immediately releasing it okay so where we want to press okay so let's say uh, basically my uh, window size is 1920 by 1080 so i'm just uh, providing the center okay x is equals to uh, let's say 1920 divided by 2 which is 960 okay so let's say 900 y is equals to 1080 divided by 2 which is 540 okay so y is equals to 540 okay and i will uh, sleep for 0 0.5 second for 0 0.5 second then i will press enter okay so what it basically will do go to whatsapp messenger and type the message okay this message it will type this message and then activate that window by clicking this okay so just clicking this to activate the window and then and then uh, sleep for 0 0.5 second and then press enter to send message so let's see is this working or not okay so I just ran it, just go to the WhatsApp, type the message, okay, let's wait, okay, let's see, okay, just click, okay, just press enter, so now it's just send the message, so it's working properly. So let's uh, see uh, some uh, another functions of pivot kit, okay so this function is to send message immediately so if you want to send the message after two hours or two and a half half an hours so you can use the function send whatsapp message just you can send whatsapp message so if you look at the arguments it, uh, the arguments are same okay receiver phone number and message and here you can see time hour time it okay if you want to send in two and a half an hour later you can just say time hour is equals to two Okay, time hour is equals to 2 and time minute is equals to 30 then what it will do it just send message after two and a half, half an hour okay so that's what that's why this function will do okay send whatsapp message so that's it for today's video guys thank you bye